Broke the Yahoo, broke the Yahoo Shai, broke the Yahoo, broke the Yahoo Shai, broke the Yahoo, broke the Yahoo Bashim Yahashai, Bahashim, Chakadash. The blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Milso, and I rule well. Citation to the hopeful elect that day, you are Kim to Zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the priest Shaman, this week's topic is going to be talking about seven women taking hold of one man. Um, comes from one scripture. I'm going to read it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Right. And what days are talking about? The day that you read about in Jeremiah 30 and 7. The day that you read about in Daniel's 12 and 1. Jacob's trouble. All right. When all hell breaks loose. Anarchy. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, taking place. Seven. This represents a complete number. Uh, complete, a complete number. All right. Meaning it could be 14. It could be five. It could be three. In other words, women are going to be cleaving and put their egos aside to be around one man. Now, why is that? Well, we see it today in society, right? We see certain men um, with an abundance of women. The society has deemed that to be high-value men. High-value men throughout the history of time were able to have multiple women around them. All right? And why? Because they could provide security. They could provide safety. It's going to be very much similar, all right, when Jacob's trouble comes to play. All right, because Isaiah 34 and 16 tells us that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. Okay, so in that day, all right, guess what? Value is subjective, right? We can all agree that value is subjective. In this society, what is valued? Um, money, power, status, all these things are valued. But when riches is thrown the fuck out the window, Survival is going to be the main, be the main priority, all right? And it's not just going to be us, Lord willing, we're the men of the Lord, but you're going to see women clicking up with any type of man that could provide them survival, you know? It says, um, shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name, right? Your name of protection, okay? Because that's what's going to happen, all right? They're going to see people being you know women being raped traded and all that type of stuff but they're gonna look for means of protection you know to hedge themselves against these things that's where the men of the lord are gonna come into play all right so the brothers that are witnessing dry spells now in that day you know lord willing all right you ain't gonna have no dry spell because they're gonna be bending to whatever you need all right it says only let us be called by thy name to take away thy reproach and that scripture right here cuts the notion that a man can only be with one woman a man can have as much woman as he can afford, okay? As long as it is in the confines of the law, okay? Meaning, I'm not saying, you know, the scriptures condone hookup culture, just running through bitches or what have you. Um, I'm not saying the scriptures about that, but in the ancient world, all right, when you had a wife, you, you know, you could have multiple wives, but you had to provide for them. Not many people could do that, right? Just like how today, not many people could have multiple cars or multiple houses because that comes with a lot of responsibility, all right? So it's the same thing too back then with women and even somewhat now, right? These rich guys that are able to do it, um, at least keep them around and keep them in a loop. Even in them, um, Islamic culture, guess what? You have to take care of them, all right? And I think the maximum they could have is four wives, but it could have an infinite amount of concubines. So again, you got you to gotta ask yourself, you know, which one is new? You know, which one is newer? This idea of monogamy or the idea that's been around, which is polygamy, wherein... Uh, men can have multiple wives. That's been around forever. You know, and your, your woman might get her feelings about this. The sisters call them sisters. Some might get themselves in their feelings about it, but the Ahobah Shemel Shah don't give a fuck about our feelings. All right, it's just about what the scriptures say. That's why it says, spare not. Spare what? Don't spare people's feelings, man. All right, just tell them the truth. Um, this is the book of Isaiah 13 and 12. It says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man... Um, even a man than the golden edge of Ophir. Ophir here is America, all right? This is the land of Ophir, all right? Which had that precious gold. Um, that's talking about men of the Lord. I mean, that's the last scripture I brought out Second uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, it's the second chapter, 1 to 5, and, the, and various other scriptures, you know, letting you know that a man that is precious, all right? What makes him precious? The word, having the word of the Lord is what makes you precious, okay? Because only a finite amount of men truly have the real 100% unadulterated word of the Lord. That's what makes them precious. It's not so much anything about us. It's the word of the Lord.
gonna prove that real quickly. Now this is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. And the child Samuel ministered, which is ministered means to serve, unto the Lord before Eli. And the word of the Lord was precious in those days. Why? Because prior to Samuel, about 400 years, you had a period of judges and no prophets. Scriptures tell you in the book of Proverbs, Scriptures tell you in the book of Proverbs, when there's no open vision, the people perish. The verse finishes us off to read, there was no open vision, right? There's no mediator between us and the Lord right now. We kind of spooked. So when we get that person that can mediate directly with the Lord, hey man, that's a precious thing. That's a precious individual, all right? Now, what's gonna make us even more precious? Well, the elder Manalda Zakba and different brothers already did the lesson that they're trying to ban the Bible, all right? And ultimately, they wanna shut this thing down. YouTube down, teaching the word, all that, you know? They flag our videos now, but you, soon, you might even be put to death for speaking against the RFID microchip, which I'll come to pass. This is the book of Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the, in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Heavenly Father, That's what's going to come to pass. All right? Me doing these videos, you know, every, every you know, every at least five days a week, to my best of my ability, that's going to come to an end. I'm live stream the apostles, all of us. It's not going to go on forever. Because it's prophesied that it wouldn't. Okay? And when that happens, they shut down the internet. Next, next, next major threat, possibly a cyber attack. Nancy Pelosi, she bought a bunch of stock in Palo Alto, which deals with cybersecurity. And you know these politicians are ahead of the game. Okay? Just like how they bought a bunch of Moderna stock before this um, thing happened. They bought a bunch of Pfizer and all these different before that thing in 2020 happened, all right? So follow the money, all right? So Palo Alto, companies like CloudStrike, these things are being bought up, why? For cybersecurity, that might be the next major crisis, just speaking through the spirit. Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord shall not find it right so you know through this prayer we're out there we're not like the mother camps where it's seasonal camp we're in there week in week out so it scriptures is telling you there's going to come a point where you're not going to be able to find us not on the highways and byways not on the internet you know they're going to probably delete the archive videos like they're doing now you know they're doing um they have the ai bots going through deleting our videos from did four years ago so get this word while you can because again just like gold or anything precious in this world value is subjective right and our stock is going to rise when this word is not so easily accessible and i remember seeing in 2020 when that thing happened the inflow all right inundation of new believers and new followers on our videos because they were spooked they didn't know what the fuck to make of what the hell was going on in 2020 was this the end is this the you know is this real is this they were trying to find answers Right? And I remember doing a video through the spirit on GMS to the point when that channel was active. I said, look, this is not anything about what you think it is about. It is a giant wealth transfer. All right? And I went through all the stock market moves that these different people unplayed and just show you, look, this crisis is, is more about transferring wealth. And that's what they did. That's what they did. What they did. Constantly increasing more and more the middle, um, the gap between the lower class and the upper, uh, the upper class. They want to get rid of small businesses. That was the whole thing about it. Ultimately, they want everything to be big box clubs, like Costco's and BJ's. That way, you can't transact in cash, all right? That way, when they make these different decrees, it's going to be much more easier to pass, all right? Because that small businessman that will take your $20, all right? Or, or try to work with you, guess what? He guys should be out the picture. Now, the scriptures also says in the book of, let's see if I can get to it now, Matthews. In the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4, it reads, But he answered and said, This is in red letters, this is Yahweh Shah speaking, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth 
out of the mouth of the Most High. Now, the way the, I'm speaking right now, this is the word of the Most High. Okay, when brothers and I and we do our videos, that's the word of the Lord. All right. When you hear the scriptures, often they want to inquire of the Lord. All right. They're talking about the prophets. All right. A lot of times, um, because the prophets act as mediators, all right, between the Most High and men. Now, this was, this is the book of Luke chapter 1 and 70. It says, as he spake by the mouth of his prophets, of his holy prophets, holy means separate, which have been since the world began, right? So the prophets has always been on the scene, speaking, mediating to the people. So when I do these videos and I say, oh, praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, I mean that because he's the one that's guiding my lips, helping me break down these scriptures, helping me learn from my apostles and elders to direct it to you, all right? That's what we're all doing. That's what all the prophets and brothers are doing right now. Directing the word of our Lord to our people, to the nations, and to everyone to warn them of what is to come. Okay? And Jacob's trouble is on its way. And in that day, as the title says, these women, these prideful, uh, feminist, um, I don't need no man, and da-da-da-da, it's going to be all out the window. All right? And I'm telling you why to the Spirit. Okay? It's all hell is going to break loose. It's best... Um, the source of protection is the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, by having the word of the Lord. Okay, there's a lot of people having doomsday bunkers and panic rooms or what have you. I know uh, Mark Zuckerberg went crazy with the panic room. The wealthy do it. Some of them might survive what's to come. All right. Ultimately, their judgment is going to be slavery. But our real panic room, our real safety bunker, our doomsday bag is these holy is the holy scriptures. Okay, because that's something you could take with you anywhere. Because we don't know exactly where we're going to be when all this shit kicks off. But the scriptures are going to be with us here, right? That's why it's very important to plant, plant the seed now. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash, the blinds to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. Salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim, to do the thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.